Hey guys, this is Phil, and this is just a quick video on how to edit your menus on your site once you've made some changes in your Inflatable Office account. So once you've made any changes, such as adding categories to your Inflatable Office account, make sure you go to the WordPress settings in your Inflatable Office, and you would select your website and make sure that you go ahead and sync entire site. It can actually be a good idea to actually run it maybe two times, just to make sure everything is fully synced over to the site and maybe you know, give it some time, get a cup of coffee or whatever. And then once it's fully synced on your site here, you'll want to get logged in. And if you need help with getting logged in or you don't know your user information, just reach out to us, we can help you with that. But once you're in, you will go to Appearance and Menus. And once you're in Menus, uh, your site might actually have multiple menus. You just need to make sure that up around here and here, there's some spaces to actually choose to make sure you're in the right menu. You need to check to make sure of those and make sure you're actually in the menu that shows for uh, the top nav menu. And usually you can tell just by what links are being showed as you go through the different ones. Once you're in the right menu, uh, the easiest way would just be to go to search over here and search for the page that you wanna add. So we could just say, and say in this case we wanted to add tents. All you gotta do is Click the click box here, add to menu, and that will come over here. And from here, you see that there's different indentation levels. This determines the actual layout of your menu. So anything that is in the very first level here is going to show on your site as an actual top level thing here. And anything that's been indented, like these two right here, are going to actually be inside of drop down boxes. So using that logic, you can actually build out things. So say that you wanted to actually show tents as a category that was dropped down under inventory. We'll just drag it underneath inventory and indent it. Save menu. And then when you reload the page, you can now see that you get a drop down box with tents as an option. And that's pretty much all you need to know. Um, just if you do add multiple pages, make sure you go through and add everything manually. And the biggest thing to remember is that categories are the, and menus are the one thing that we really cannot keep synchronized automatically with your site through the WordPress module. So you always do have to do this manually. And then once again, if you need help, reach out to us on the support team. We'd be happy to help. Other than that, thanks and have a great day.